everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty pop-up box card or box fold card. They're really straightforward to make. I've made quite a few of them. They're just really lovely card styles to make. I love them. Um, this is using the first edition Mariposa papers, which I'll show you in a moment. And it's just full of butterflies. And it's so, so cute. I love it. And if I just bring it up a bit closer there, you can see how pretty does that look. So I've gone quite over the top with this one. You can keep them very simple and I will um, put a little link in up here of the other styles that I've done as well. But I just think these just make really special cards. Now on the back here you can write your message. So that one is blank and the whole thing folds flat and you can either keep them down like so or you can fold them up. Now this one I'm keeping them down just because I don't want these catching on those ones but it all fits in the 6x6 envelope. Now that one I'm probably going to have to move because I think it's going to go, you don't want it to go when it folds like this. So you see on this side everything is within that kind of section. It needs to stay, but can you see this one's just going over? I think I'm going to have to move that a little bit. But I'll talk you through positioning as we go through the tutorial. But it is, it's just gorgeous. This is a happy birthday card. Obviously you can have any theme you want. I've done Christmas ones. Again, that will all be linked in for you. And it's just super, super cute. See, I've added some lovely shine with my Winker Stella on the butterflies there. I've got little embellishments, I've got embellishments in the flowers. And I always like to use acetate. I like things floating when I make this style card. You can use plain, you know, cardstock, so white or colors that match if you don't have acetate. But a lot of this is what I save from my dies and my stamp packaging. So again, if you're trying to keep, you know, costs down or you're just starting out, save your packaging. Because even if it's slightly marked, just give it a wipe and give it a buff and it should come up nicely. But for certainly for things like this, it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit marked because you don't notice. But it's another cheap way to, you know, make these lovely fun cards. So that's what we're going to be making. So I'm going to pop that one to one side. This is the paper pack. So this is Mariposa. And you can see there, it's absolutely stunning. Lots of texture, lots of shine, and just beautiful, really, really detailed images. So again, this will all be linked into my blog. So if you do want to purchase it, I will share all of those for you. And then to make it, you don't need a lot for the actual um, card itself. It's pretty straightforward. So for the main card base, all you need is a piece that is 12 by six. Okay, and what you want to do is along the 12 inch side, you want to score it two and seven eighths of an inch, five and three quarters of an inch, six and five eighths of an inch, and 11 and a half. Okay, and then what you want to do is flip it over, then rotate it so you now you're along the shorter side, you want to score it three and a half. Now, the reason I do that is because you're going to be folding the main, these main score lines here one way and then this other score line is going to come down which is this, these flaps here. So if you didn't do that you just run the risk of cracking. So that's what you need for the card base, so I'll pop that to one side and then I have all of my other bits here. And grab all this. I've prepared loads because again you don't need to see me going through all this. Now I did fussy cut lots of images, so all these butterflies, which are gorgeous, but can you see them all here? I'll show you the die cuts in a moment. But all these butterflies, my acetate, are all from one of the paper packs. So as you can see, I'm very patient. I have a, a yeah, just, I don't mind fussy cutting, I love it. But you can see, you can use any butterflies obviously, but that's all of them there that I did decide to sit down and fussy cut. Now, I also added in, these are the Simply Creative dies. So we've got this gorgeous little fairy and there's this bird as well. I'll just show you the fairy here, really pretty. The bird isn't in this one, but I'm gonna use it in the next one. And then I've also just grabbed a flower die from my stash and some other little butterfly dies um, as well. And I've got them there, which I'll be adding in. I've also already stamped my happy birthday. So like I said, I've prepared all of that because that's pretty easy and everybody's going to be having different bits that they're going to be using anyway. But the main parts which you will need, again everything has all been done. So I'm going to have, or I have, three of these pieces of cardboard. There's one there, one, two, 
three. Oh, there you can see a bit better. One, two, three. And that's to obviously stick all these acetate strips onto. Those was it. Now you may just decide you want to have one or two. You may want even more. It's entirely up to you. Once you see it all come together, you can decide. But these are three quarters of an inch by four. Okay. Is it four? No, it's not. It's three and seven eighths because of the what? Yeah, sorry, it's three and seven eighths. It isn't four. Okay. So it's three quarters, yeah, by three and seven eighths. Okay. So I've got three of those. And also along that uh, three and seven eighths of an inch side, you want to score at half an inch and then half an inch from the other end. So that's what was that? Well, one, two, three, four. So it's three and three eighths. Okay. It's a funny length because this is two and seven eighths of an inch wide, it isn't three. Okay, because I used that 12 inch piece, I wanted that little tab. Then for your mats and layers to decorate, you only need three and then plain, yeah. So you need four of the white pieces, which are two and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then you just need three pieces to mat on top because the... Um, this one is going to be where you write your message on the very back. So to decorate the top, that is two and five eighths of an inch by three and one eighth of an inch. Okay, so you'll need three pieces. Again, this is all in my blog. And then these are to mat and layer these bits here that are going to drop down. Okay, so these measure for the white, it's again two and three quarters by two and three eighths of an inch. And then the layers on top are two and five eighths. So again, the same as the one before in terms of width, and then it's two and a quarter. Okay, so you can see there the butterflies. This is really white. I've got such a bright picture for some reason, but there you go, you can make them out. Hopefully once I change this up, it will adapt my lighting a little bit. Then the acetate, I've just got strips that are just over a quarter, so they're three eighths of an inch. And lengthwise, it doesn't really matter. I mean, these are eight and a quarter because it's just the from a sheet of um, A4. So it's just the width there, but I will be cutting them down. But I've got five strips there. OK, so that's what you need. Let's get rid of the scoreboard. And hopefully now the lighting kind of goes. I think it's because I'm using this lilac colour. I've not really used this a lot on camera. So it's, uh, yeah, it's gone very bright. OK, so we want to burnish, first of all, all of those score lines that run along the longer side okay and then flip it and then this one is going to fold towards you so I've got my tab on the right hand side and then this bit folds towards me and you shouldn't have any cracking because of the way that we've scored it okay then rotate it around so you've got the longer these are longer rectangles here each of these so this is the actual side of the box the shorter squares or rectangles are the pieces that flap over. That's what we're now going to cut. So you want to rotate it so that the tab's on your left hand side. OK, and we're going to be cutting all of this. So I'm just going to grab the scissors here. And you just want to basically what I tend to do is I remove the whole score line. So I'm cutting slightly to the right hand side and then going back in and cutting slightly to the left and then just joining it as I come down. And that way you remove that bulk. I think it just gives this style just a nicer finish. If I, if I lay that down, can you see the gap now that's in between that? Okay. So again, you just want to do that. So the tabs on my left hand side along that one, that one, and then this one. Okay. And then this one here, you're just going to then completely remove. So just cut that one away like so. Okay. And then with your little tab on the end here, just take little wedges off the top and the bottom so that when we fold it all together, you don't see any of that. So now they're all going to come down like so. Okay. Next, we can start sticking down all of our mats and layers before we attach and do the inside. So these ones here. So this is one bit I've done differently. I guess it doesn't really matter once it's filled with all the bits and pieces. But what I found is when you join it together, if you have the join actually at the front, because generally we would have that now as the back, but if you have the join facing the front, when you look in the card, you don't see this joined part. So you see all of that. But to be fair, once there's loads in it, you don't really see it anyway. So it's entirely up to you, but I'm gonna still stick that way. So this, this is actually going to be my front, the one where it's at on the end, okay? So that's the front, 
that's the side. So we've got the front, the side, and then the other side. So if I flip it over, you see now I've got the tab on the right hand side here, and then I put a cross through that one, left this one blank, and then I've got a cross and a cross. I want to put patterned and the mat, patterned and the mat, patterned and the mat, and then that one, oh my mat's sliding, will go there like so. You don't have to put the crosses actually, you can just do what I've done there. There's the tab, I've got a pattern in the mat, plain, and then those two there. So I'm going to stick them all down first of all. Okay, so I've done all of that. Now you may want to stick that one down, you know, when you go to write your message on, but what I probably will do is write my message on another smaller piece and then stick that on top again so it's just got a little frame. Now flip it over and when you bring it round, see that one's going to go in like so. There's my side, my front, my side and the back. People do this differently. I quite like this way and I think it's easier for people that are maybe starting off and never met uh, blah, 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 and have never made this style before. But if you grab your strips that we've done, those little score lines, and just burnish all those little tabs like so. Okay. And then what you want to do, again, remembering that this is the side and this is the side. They're the ones that we're going to be working on now. So with the tab on your left hand side, you're going to be working on the first square and the third square. With these ones here, if you grab one of them and pop some glue. Now you really don't want a lot of glue, so I've just spread it out and actually started to stick it onto one of the other tabs because if any of this kind of um, spreads out, unless it's a glue that dries completely clear and dry, then it'd be okay. But because this would fold flat, you don't want it to stick. With your tab, okay, let me just bring this up so I remember which way, yeah. So with the tabs facing away from you, so they're folded away from me, you want to stick your first one coming down about half an inch and away from the side by about half an inch. It's entirely up to you, okay? And make sure it's straight, so just lie it down. If I bring that one up, you can see there that I've come down about half an inch and come in Ignore your tab, you're coming in from that score line. Okay, so it's like so. Then with your next one, which I've already put a little bit of glue on, just pop a bit more, not too much, like so. Keeping it lined up with the top, you want to come in again, so it's roughly in the middle. It doesn't matter if they're slightly out, none of that is going to matter at this point. Then grab your third one, and again, you could have these even further down, you could have them lined up with the very top score line here. It's, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you. And then this one I'm just going to stick so that it is the same kind of distance from this next score line here. Okay, next you want to put glue on all of those pieces, so all the other tabs. They won't go over each other because of the way that we've overlapped them to start with the way that we stuck them down so don't worry about them sticking because they won't but just make sure that glue doesn't go over. Lie them all down flat and fold it in half so the first two squares are here these are the other two those two you're folding right over and just stick it down okay and now very carefully when you open that up bearing in mind this one's not stuck down but you will have them perfectly stuck across the other side okay the easiest way to do it then with this one you just want to pop some glue, just keeping it in that square shape, just line that up so you get it perfectly joined there. Okay, and then fold it flat and then you can just really push that down, making sure that's all nice and stuck. Pop it back up again and there you have your card all ready to pop in your little acetate strips. Now before we do that, I like to decorate this. Now I went and rounded off all of the bottom parts there. Can you see I've corner rounded those? So I need to do that on these pieces here. Probably could have done this before. It's still gonna be okay. Yeah, it's fine. So I'm just gonna go around and get those all rounded. Okay, so they're all done. Remembering this is the front. Now, on the other ones that I've done, I've done one maybe two, three months ago. I actually removed this front one and had like a scene and more decoration on this piece here. It's entirely up to you um, in this, for this one I'm keeping it on just to show those different ways that you can decorate it. But now all of these mats and layers will sit perfectly on top, giving you really nice little borders. You can see I've got the purple border, the white border, and then that pattern paper. So I'm gonna stick all four of those down. 
Okay, so that's that all stuck down. And what it also does is it's added weight now to drop that down. So yeah, it just starts to look really nice. So again, this is the front where I've got the join. The next bit now is kind of entirely up to you. You can really freestyle this. You can add as many or as few as you want. But these are my strips. And what I find, when it, again, when you're working with acetate, oh, it's stuck to my desk, <laughs> is the red tape. So I actually added quite a few butterflies onto the one strip. So there's three butterflies on this strip. I've got two on that one, two on that one. And that, I think, kind of helped give me that really full effect. So, for example, if I grab this butterfly here, actually that one's a little bit odd, let's do this one. Just pop a little bit of tape on the back, slip it off so you can see there, just got a tiny little bit of tape. And then, okay, and then I want to stick it right on the very top of that acetate. So, there, you can see now. Looks like it's just floating. And then bring another one in, stick again on the back. And whenever you make these box cards, you wanna start from the back and work your way forward. Because that way, get your back at the right height and then you know everything else has gotta be slightly lower than that. So then this one I'm gonna have slightly at a different angle, stick it that way. So there you go, you can see now I've already got my two little butterflies. Okay, so I am going to have this big one I already die cut. Here we go. And again, I'm going to add some of my red tape this time onto the acetate right at the top. And then with my larger butterfly, I'm going to stick that right over and I'm going to put a little embellishment in that middle bit because it's still sticky, but the embellishment will cover that at the end. Now this one's going to be at the back, so this is the one that I need to make sure doesn't go any higher than the six inches. So I'm already going to cut half of that off and I can use that other half for another one. And then when you sit it in, what you're going to do, again, if I get some of my red tape, Wet glue will not really, it, it will work, some wet glues will, but it takes a longer, lot longer for it to dry and it, I, st I still think after time they will fall off. So I've always stuck with red tape and I've never had any problems. Even if they're cards that I've made for some months and put away and then brought back out again, they're still all together. Okay, so that is now all ready. And then with my box, with my ruler, I'm gonna hold it behind Okay, like so. And then when I put this in, I want to make sure that it's no higher than six inches behind this back um, cardboard piece here. So, and I want it on a slight angle, but not too angled, otherwise it will obviously stick out of your envelope, but there. And then what I've done is I've stuck it in behind that back tab. All right, and just make sure you squeeze that down so it's stuck in. But now you can see, so that's that one there. Then I'm going to do this one with the flower. Use that other half of the acetate that I'd already cut off from the other one. And then again, just going to trim a bit more of that off. Pop some red tape on the bottom. And you want to make sure that the um, when this obviously you stick it down, you don't want that sticky acetate to go past this width of this piece here. Otherwise, when you fold it flat, it's going to stick. Okay, it all needs to be, can you see it's completely concealed behind that piece there. Then again with this one, I'm going to pop this. So the bigger pieces, um, like embellishments, and the taller pieces go at the very back. So again, this one here, you don't need the ruler for every bit. I'm just using it just for these back pieces to get it all in place. So then that one can go like so. Okay, so that's my back ones ready. Now everything else is easy to do. So this one here, I'm going to just trim. This one here, I'm going to bring down to the next piece of cardboard strip there in the middle. You can see now where I've stuck that and keep looking at it like this. Look at it straight on as on a side profile. So you can start to kind of decrease each, um, you know, decrease the height of each strip that you're sticking it on. So that one there and then on the very front, these ones here are stuck actually onto the box itself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and cut all my acetate and get lots more stuck down. Okay, there we go, that one is finished. So I've really filled it up. I've added my little happy birthday, just the same way you can see there, it's just on a piece of acetate. 
and yeah as long as you keep the back at the height it needs to be and then just stagger everything down I still might add in a few more bits I might add another butterfly on the bottom here just look around to the sides and just maybe something on there just so it doesn't look it looks a bit blank there for me so I'm going to add another one in there but that's how it looks and like I said it all folds flat and that will now fit in my 6x6 envelope but I love these like I said I've made a lot of them pop and have a look at the other ones but I just think they make really special gorgeous cards so there you have it guys hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial if you have please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you get to see more thanks for watching bye